Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns and beautiful. Oh my, look at that blue sky. Atlanta, Georgia. Today is June the 2nd, 2023. And on today's video, I thought I would never have to make this video. It pains me. But anyway, I'm done with Honda. I'm done with Honda mowers. Now, I'm going to tell you a very quick story. I have had, I bought my first Honda HRX 217 back five years ago. Uh, in three days, it will be exactly 60 months. So what is that, 2018? Best cutting mower for Bermuda grass I've ever seen. The thing is phenomenal. It's lightweight. It's ergonomically really um, good for me because I'm 6'4". The handle comes up really high. It's just been a great mower. I've had a few problems. I had an oil leak. The valve cover and the, and the uh, cam uh, O-ring that holds the uh, cam gear in. But those are common. They're super easy to fix. Several times I've had, well, one time I had the rocker arm snap. These, these engines, these 190, actually the 160s and the 190s, and maybe even the 200s, have a uh, problem with the valve guides uh, pretty much on the um, exhaust side coming out of the block. Just, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch, which is enough to freeze the valve or cause it to stick and that what that does is ends up snapping the rocker arm all this stuff is super easy to fix but it shouldn't be happening right this is better honda's better than this the old honda harmony mowers never had any issues but they went cheap i'm thinking uh, when they designed this engine i guess who knows man maybe they're trying to compare on price point but anyway i have just i love my honda mower so what happened was the last, uh, I did some videos on how to fix the issue and well, it did it again. So I need a 21 inch mower, like I use them every couple times a week. So I went and bought me a brand spanking new 2023 HRX 217, identical to the one I have except the fact that it's got the 200 engine instead of the 190. Other than that, it's identical. And that cuts beautifully, no problem. I used it four times. The first two times, no problems whatsoever. The second, or the third time I used it, it started getting a little hard to pull. And um, the fourth time I used it, throughout the day it would be really super hard, like almost like it's locked up and then it would free itself and then uh, if you catch it the recoil right before it gets hard it, it would start in one pull no problem and it ran fine but i'm like yeah this ain't right it had 3.2 hours on it 3.2 hours so i took it back to the dealer and said you know you guys need to take a look at this um and they're usually really quick getting to the stuff that i bring and it's been a week today so i went up to uh, the dealer I had to pick up some parts i ordered for my other mower and i said look what's the what's the deal and they're kind of they're like well uh, it's the cam shaft um assembly needs to be replaced apparently there's a campaign slash technical service service bulletin that these things are starting to fail this is on the 200 engine it didn't break because it was still run. It's just super hard to pull. And so I said, well, <laughs> you know, they had no ETA for the parts. And I'm like, look, I told the owner this. I said, how about crediting back what I paid for the mower and giving me credit and I'll buy the other mower that I'm getting ready to tell you, show you. And um, he was, those guys are so nice. He's like, yeah, he goes, no problem. So they, they took a little bit off uh, the mower that I bought, just a little bit, and it was more than fair. I, I was very happy with it. So um, they own that mower back now, 
and uh, I ordered, I have a brand new engine coming for my 217 that I have, but I also am going to try another fix that supposedly will keep that valve guide from popping out of the block and I'll just run that engine another 10 years and then I'll always have a spare engine because I, I do want to keep, I like cutting my yard with that mower because it cuts phenomenal. So let me show you what guys what I got. I got the, this is the uh, 21 inch bad boy commercial mower with the Kawasaki FJ80V. This is the exact same mower as the Y Bravo. Pretty much, yeah, it's a Chinese mower, but there's a lot of people that use these. And I gotta tell you, this is the only reason that I even contemplated this mower. Because it fits on the back of the tailgate, or the dovetail of my truck, because the everything is pretty much almost the exact same height. This is probably the most well put together solid mower I've ever I've ever had. The Honda HRC 216 commercial mower, which would be this mower's competitor, did not feel this solid. It I mean this thing is got actual rubber tires. Obviously they're flat free, but they're rubber tires. It has a, a steel deck and it's you know got the kawasaki engine on it which i would prefer this engine over the honda engine and this thing is just stout one thing that i really like is the old school it's got a high and low range high low and neutral for the transmission transmission super easy to get to in service if you need to uh, do that it's got a pressurized lubrication system so it's got an oil filter on it it's got a a nice um canister air filter with a pre-foam so very nice very nice setup um i have started this mower twice i'm going to put an hour meter i will do a video to show you how to do an hour meter on this but uh yeah it's uh this is a heavy mower it's 100 and i think it's 135 or 136 pounds the honda i think was about that but the problem with the Honda and the reason that I sold it was number one, the engine's not very powerful, the 160. And number two, this handle on the Honda, even adjusted all the way up, was much lower. It was a pain to uh, to mow with this. I just did not like it. This handle, I like this design that comes up like this. This is the best. And this is this mower is super light. I think this mower weighs 97 pounds. But yeah, I, I needed something that is uh more robust and i think this will will fill the bill so um that's what i got has not cut in fact the very first cut i'm going to do is on my yard and i'll i will do a video on that let you and give you guys my thoughts and impressions but um yeah it's a it's a stout mower it looks really really easy to work on i like the i like the layout of the everything on the engine it's just simple man this is just basic this does not have the blade stop so when you uh in order to start this you have to pull this and then push this down crank it and this thing cranks on half a pull here and then yep. is your uh that's your um your self-propelled and then uh when you let go of that it stops stops the mower so um, this is a little different in that you've got your blade control uh, and you can keep it running until you stop it so it, this has a blade brake so if I do this the engine the blades gonna stop but the engines gonna still run this if I let go of this bail it's, it's gonna stop so anyway but yeah that's uh that's what I got and hopefully uh, this motor will last a long time so I, I, I'm going to guess pretty much that this mower is not going to cut as good as this mower, but I don't know. I've never used this mower before, so we'll, uh, I don't know if I'll do it today, but maybe tomorrow. Um, we'll just, I'll video uh, cutting the yard, but I've got to do a video on how to do the fix on this.
I will do a video eventually on how to replace the engine on the Honda, but super, I, I'm telling you guys, I, I love this mower. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm keeping it for the house. And I'm just gonna keep it going. But this sucker, you put this thing in high range and it's actually, you almost have to trot behind it. It goes so fast, but it's very, very, very well put together. Like it is, this mower is solid. So hopefully it cuts as good as it is put together. But I'm impressed. I'm impressed with it. We'll see, time will tell. But it's got a better, better commercial warranty. It's got a two year commercial warranty on it. So the Honda's only got a three month commercial warranty if you use it for that. So anyway, uh, shout out to uh, Sosby. That's my dealer that I got it from and they're just awesome people. And um, you know, they take care of their people. So if you're, if you're in Lawrenceville, Georgia, Sosby's, Sosby's Auto Supply, they're huge, uh, Gravely, Bad Boy, Wright, um, I think Toro, but anyway, they're good people. So anyway, uh, that being said, I am going to, the next video I'm gonna do is gonna show you how to install the, um, the uh, hour meter that I put on everything. I'm gonna put it on this, and then uh, we'll just go from there. Thank you very much for watching the videos. If you have any questions, if you have anything you wanna know about this mower as I learn, you know, I can do more videos on it. Uh, maybe you guys don't care, I don't know. <laughs> but just let me know in the comments and I will talk to you on the next one.